Hey y'all, coming to you from the international headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors. This is they were finishing up this very cool 1956 Mercury M100. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll check it out real quick. Oh, M1 Mercury pickup truck, Steve, how cool is that? Isn't that cool though? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, uh, what year is it? 1956. Yep. I want to say 56 Ford, but it's 56 Mercury. Yeah. So. No, that was, and I don't, they they just made those trucks for like the Canadian market. There's not many of them down here in the States. Yeah, that's what David was just telling us, that the only way you could get one in the United States is if you drove to Canada, bought one, and brought it back across the border. Right. So that's pretty cool. You'd have a rare truck, I guess. I've shot a couple, but not very many. And mm -hmm. then, of course, with like anything like that, there's clones out there right. that you find. But this one's actually a real Mercury pickup truck. That's now got a Steve Holcomb interior. <laughs> yeah, I think he said he went and got it about three years ago up in Canada. But yeah, yeah, we uh, actually it's got a metal door panel on it that they have made or bought from somebody, and then uh, Nash um, up there painted the uh, painted them for him, and we did everything else: did the carpet, seats, headliner, you know, all the kick panels and underneath the dash and all that stuff. Not much you can do with a little truck like this. Well, especially you know, it's just it's got the bench seat, traditional bench seat. Except that was a later model bench seat, which is hard a hard one to cover. It's got the armrest in it, but he wanted the diamond pleat gray insert in it with a black stitch in it. it turned out pretty cool looking. And then uh, cover the armrest with the same gray insert material with the uh, black stitch in it. And then everything else on the truck is black. Right on. No, so. I think the diamond pleat in the seat fits like the style of the rest of it. Yeah. Because I don't know if they're going to put center caps or not either way. Right. This has got steely wheels on it and it's got that kind of a look to it. So I think it fits perfect. Yeah, and the door panel's got that uh, stamped in diamond plate too. So I wanted to try to keep incorporate the seat with the door panels and stuff, make it all look matching. And like you said, it'd be in a bench seat. There's no console or anything right. like that. You know, Just a good, a clean truck. Nice interior. headliner in it. Yeah, yeah, I had a good headliner in it, but put the aluminum rails up in the top and a little emblem that he had, a little Man, Emblem, I forgot what the name of that was, but it, uh, up in the headliner, it looked pretty good, too. Yeah, no, it's a sweet truck. What power is it? It's got a 4.6, uh, I think he said it was a 2008 Mustang uh, motor, uh, supercharged. So it, it sound, sounds pretty cool. Yeah, no, I think it's, I, I look at the truck, and I'm sure that it was built to drive. It's got some real nice bed, uh, wood in the bed, mm -hmm. and 15-inch um, rims, wheels, so, you know, it's not like it's a... Uh, it's an old-school build. Right, it's an old-school yeah. build. But it's a really cool-looking build. And so. that's where it sits, too. It's yep. not on air. That's no. static. That's where it sits at. Yeah, and it sits pretty low, too, right so on. you got to be careful with it. But, yeah, it's a, it's a really neat-looking truck. And I dig the silver mm -hmm. and the black. No, I think y'all nailed it. Thank you, Scotty. We appreciate it. So there you go from Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors 1956 M100. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.